The COVID-19 pandemic has been particularly damaging for small businesses, which represent the majority of businesses in the United States and employ nearly half of all private sector workers. Compared to January 2020, average daily revenue as of August 9th was down by 47.5% in the leisure and hospitality sector, 16.4% in the education and health services sector, and 14.1% in the retail and transportation sector. Aggregate small businesses' revenue across all industries had fallen by 19.1%. Some sectors where employees could not work remotely and where businesses were not deemed essential to be open fared particularly poorly. Notably, some of these sectors, after partially rebounding, have begun to see revenue declines again starting in August. For example, the percent reduction in revenue fell by more than 5 percentage points in the first 10 days of August in the retail and transportation sector as well as in the leisure and hospitality sector. In line with these declines in revenue, significant declines in employment at the beginning of the recession were seen in small businesses. Between March and April, employment in firms with fewer than 20 employees fell more than 16%. For firms with between 20 and 49 employees, the decline was 22%. Between August 30th and September 5th, 50% of respondents had not rehired any employees. 5% of respondents had rehired at least one employee, and 55% of respondents had not for long or laid off any employees. Stabilizing business revenue is crucial, not only to avoid costly layoffs and firm closures, but also because reduced revenue will result in diminished investment which can compound the future output and income damages of a recession.